Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about Chimera Fusion Plunder Patrol. Okay, and these are two decks that I play a lot on the channel individually. Like I've done a ton of plunder content, I've done quite a bit of Chimera Fusion content as well, but I've never put them together in the same deck. Now, what's the synergy you may ask? Well, we have Chimera King of Phantom Beasts, which requires one beast and one fiend. And all of the Plunder Patrol monsters are fiend type. So uh, if we can combine a Plunder Monster with Gazelle, King of Mythical Claws, any Plunder plus Gazelle with Chimera Fusion gets us into Chimera, gets us into a hand rip, gets us into follow up and that kind of thing. Okay, so really I built the deck around that and I'm going to go through the deck list for you today and a little bit of combo tutorial, a little bit of... Uh, you know, replay discussion on how you should go about building and playing this deck and what you want to think about when putting the deck together yourself. What are some pros about this deck? Well, pros are that it's spicy. Like the plunder deck really hasn't changed since Jord came out, which was like a year ago at least. Uh, and then the Chimera deck really hasn't changed either. Like it, it's been mostly the standard branded Chimera with whatever non-engine you want. Yeah, there's maybe been one or two tech cards swapped in or out of the of the like standard build since then, but really it's all the same combo. Uh, but this deck kind of allows you to combine those uh, to kind of spice things up a little bit, and that's really why I'm attracted to it. Uh, the second reason why it's kind of nice is that the main deck is completely budget. Like the uh, aside, if you already have hand traps, the whole main will cost you 15 bucks tops. Um, the extra deck can get a little bit of a little bit expensive, just from Chimera King of Phantom Beast and the Guardian Chimera, and then of course um, there's like. SP and Typhon if you want to play those as well like that that's just extra cost tacked onto every deck these days if you want to play those but honestly like this deck is very cheap and I think it's actually really quality and it's just like an alternative to or for like mostly for plunder players I think this is more of a plunder deck than a chimera deck it's just like an extra engine to play in plunder like I've been tired of playing adventure plunder for two years uh runic plunder is you know it's it's a challenge. So, you know, if you don't really want to play those those two variants, then I think that the Chimera Fusion uh, plus Plunder deck is a really interesting way to shake things up and just opens up a whole new lines, uh, whole new lines of play uh, using, you know, Burfamet, King of Phantom Beast to uh, dump stuff to your graveyard to facilitate your Plunder plays that way. Uh, getting a hand rip in Plunder is really nice when you're all about card advantage. Just ripping one out of your opponent's hand to start is pretty clutch. Uh, it gives you a better going first play like Plunder. Plunder going first is a little bit weak, to be honest, but in this particular version, you set up far more interruptions with Chimera, with the Illusions Engraved, with the Chimera Fusion set. It really buffs up your turn one board, so um, I think it kind of changes up the play style for uh, Plunder players and for Chimera players. If you're a Chimera player trying to get into a different deck, then Plunder is a really really nice jump over uh, to like a different style of play. Now a couple of things I want to say before we get started is that I have never seen another Chimera Plunder deck. Like I've never looked one up. I know they exist, but I've never seen it. So that means what you're getting out of me is an unbiased take on how this deck should be built, which I think is could be valuable. Uh, you know, if it's different than everyone else's, well then you can, you know, take that into consideration, or if it's the same, well then maybe I'm a clown and I should have looked this up months ago, okay? So, um, yeah, I'm going to go through my main and extra deck. I'm going to go through bread and butter combos for this particular deck, and we'll talk about what we want to be doing when combining the plunder stuff with the Chimera Fusion stuff, okay? So, we're going to spend a bit of time on the deck list because I think that really is the peak of where this deck kind of differs from the individual decks themselves and you know how you want to think about building it and playing it okay so let's go ahead and jump on into the main deck starting with the chimera stuff we're going to be playing three copies of cornfield one copy of mirror sword knight and three copies of gazelle and that is it for the monsters okay unlike the chimera deck the pure one where Mirror Sword Knight is your main normal summon, and your main play is to go into Big Wing Burfamet. This time, our main normal summon is Gazelle, okay? And we're not playing Burfamet at all. 
The reason is Burfamite locks you into fusion monsters after using its effect, and we want to be summoning Blackbeard every turn. Okay, so that's too much anti-synergy to warrant playing this card, uh, at least for its summon effect, and we don't even want to play one as a fusion material because we don't need any more fiends. We have an entire plunder deck full of fiend monsters to use as materials, so really, Big Wing is going to be out. The other thing I want to point out is one Mirasaur Knight. Mirasaur Knight is not our normal summon. If we open only Cornfield, we're discarding Searching Gazelle. Like, we are not searching Mirror Sword Knight at all for the summon effect. The only reason Mirror Sword Knight is in here is to search it with Gazelle after fusing, and then using it as discard cost for your plunder plays to get it in the graveyard as a negate uh, with the Chimera on board. Okay, so really this is just there for like follow-up or for a search target. It's really not there to normal summon. And the reason that we don't want to go Cornfield into Mirror Sword Knight, Mirror Sword Knight uh, summon Gazelle, is if we get ashed on Mirror Sword Knight, we are cooked. Man, we have no shot at winning that game because now we have no normal summon left, four cards in hand, and it's all plunder cards that are combo pieces with uh, plunder stuff on board or plunder stuff in grave, and if we have no way to get those there, we're just done, okay? So that's why our main play is going to be Normal Summon Gazelle, and we're playing the full three copies of Chimera Fusion. So basically, Gazelle getting stopped is much better than Mirror Sword Knight getting stopped, because we'll still have a body on board, and if we already open a Chimera Fusion, we can just continue playing as normal. Okay, whereas if Mirror Sword Knight gets ashed, and we have Chimera Fusion in hand, well it's dead. We, unless we have like two plunder names in hand as well, uh, where we can just go into list, but that's absolutely terrible, uh, then we're kind of we're kind of cooked. So the main play is Cornfield into Gazelle, Gazelle search Chimera Fusion, Chimera Fusion away a Gazelle and a plunder name into the Chimera King, and then in graveyard effect, Gazelle search the Mirror Sword Knight, and then we're going to use one of our other plunder cards to discard that Mirror Sword Knight into the graveyard, whether it's the uh, Shipyard, whether it's the Bluebeard, whether it's Golden Hair Graveyard effect, or something else, or just like the follow-up Chimera Fusion for the Guardian Chimera can get rid of that Mirror Sword Knight, or something like that. The Mirror Sword Knight is only there to be put into the graveyard, okay? So this is going to be the entirety of the Chimera Fusion package in the main. And that is a bit different. So if you're playing, if you're used to playing Chimera Fusion or branded Chimera, uh, you have to kind of get rid of that mindset of normal summon Mirror Sword Knight, summon out Burfamet. That is gone. In this particular deck, normal summon Gazelle Search Chimera Fusion, that's all we need. Okay, so let's scoop up this part of the deck here and now we'll go into the plunder half. So the plunder names are going to be very similar to what we see in like your typical adventure plunder list uh in, in order to play this deck you do need to know your plunder combos your bread and butter plunder combos i do have a video on all of those pure plunder combos i can put in the description below but uh we're gonna need to know those because once we go into our fusion play we're gonna have to follow up with uh you know jord and blackbeard as many times as we can or as much as we can so we have to know where our plunder stuff needs to be in order to get to those uh, to that, you know, specific combination. Uh, for the plunder lineup, yeah, three white beard, three golden hair, three blue, and three black eyes, and then just the one red beard. Um, just the one red beard for me, for the space, uh, like, I, I don't, it, it's the weakest one, it combos the least with Chimera Fusion, uh, because it doesn't really facilitate any more extension, but, um, yeah, that's why we're on one red beard, and then for the spells and traps, three shipyard and one booty, I think is gonna be uh, your standard, like, pure plunder spell and trap lineup. Uh, and I think that's going to be just fine for this deck as well. Alright, so uh, I don't really need to talk much about the plunder cards. Let's go on to the non-engine now. And the non-engine is going to be a lot of hand traps, to be honest, because we're going to be doing a lot of drawing. Not only do we have Blackbeard draws like we do in normal plunder, but we also have Guardian Chimera draws off of the... Uh, follow-up Chimera Fusion. So we want to draw on our opponent's turn and be able to use whatever we draw, and that's why we're going to go pretty heavy on the hand traps. Uh, three Ash, three Nib, three Imperm. You know, even if you draw Imperm, you can't use it, but it's still so good, so we are going to play it anyway. Two Effect Veilers here. Um, yeah, these are just the best four hand traps in this format. Uh, and then the last two cards to round out the 40 are going to be two Fenrirs. Uh, I really like Fenrir both in Plunder and in Chimera specifically because searching the other Fenrir is good for either Plunder discard or 
Chimera Fusion, like Guardian Chimera uh, material. So that's why I really like Fenrir here. If you're on a budget, then we're going to cut these for two Pot of Desires or two different hand traps, two more hand traps. Uh, maybe DD Crows are going to be nice. Uh, maybe like a Magnumut and a Druis Worm or something like that as well could be also pretty good. So, um, yeah, in my opinion, the two Fenrirs are a good use of these two slots. But if you're more budget focused, then we're going to swap those out. All right, so that wraps up the main deck. Now let's talk about the extra quite a bit because the extra is where it gets fun. We do, we are able to combine the extra decks of the two archetypes uh, and it kind of all fits. So for the plunder cards, this is going to be our pl standard plunder lineup. Three copies of Blackbeard, two copies of Liss, two copies of Mowark. These are all the best ones. One copy of Bran. We typically don't need more than one. And if we really do, we can shuffle it back with Booty. Uh, and then one copy of Jord. You almost never need more than one because it goes back to the extra every time it leaves the field. So yeah, that's why we are on this lineup. That's nine cards. And now we have six more slots for the fusion stuff so we're going to be playing just the one copy of chimera king of phantom beast and really that's because we're only going to be making this on turn one uh and any other follow-up turn we're more likely to be going into guardian chimera anyway with our chimera fusion card so um just the one chimera king of phantom beast is going to be fine one copy of berfamet okay so berfamet is actually kind of strong in this deck I, in in my opinion stronger than it is in the pure chimera branded deck and that's because we can dump our golden hair to grave to facilitate our full Chimera plus Jord plus Blackbeard combo. And sometimes we need that Golden Hair in Grave uh, to be able to use the rest of the plunder names in our hand. So uh, going into Burfamet is actually kind of nice and being able to send whatever we need. Or if we have like Black Eyes in hand, we could send a Bluebeard. Black Eyes add back the Bluebeard and stuff, stuff like that. So there is quite a bit of synergy with that Burfamet there. Uh, the next two cards are two copies of Guardian Chimera. I still think two is good. Like if you only have one or can only afford one, that's I think that's going to be okay. That's going to be fine and we can work around that. And there's other options to be playing. But if there's any two of Fusion in here, it's this one because this card is just so strong. Uh, we can resolve Chimera Fusion like every turn for uh, pops and draws and all that kind of thing. And it's going to be really good. So yeah. Uh, and then we have two slots left in the extra um you know it's december 2023 you know it's coming it's one copy of sp and one copy of typhon like these cards are in every damn extra deck but you know if we don't have those or we're a little bit more on a budget don't worry i still want to talk to you guys uh we can move those out of the way and i actually think magnum the reliever is really clutch here uh and it's i think it's better once again it's better in this deck than it is in chimera branded because we have all of these plunder names that are monster special summon from the extra deck that are the fusion requirements for Magnum. Okay, so um, that's really clutch. And we can like burn through our plunder effect. Like we can use Mowark, discard, banish one, search. Uh, and then we can go Magnum using that Mowark because we don't really need it anymore or for that particular turn. So if, if we need an additional interruption, we can go into Magnum for the pop and the draw and all that kind of thing. Uh, and then the last card is up to you. You can you, you can play uh, whatever link you want, or you can play a second Chimera King of Phantom Beast. That's also going to be fine. Um, I don't really have any need for Chimera the Illusion Beast, the big one that attacks a whole bunch of times, just because of the size of the Chimera package we're playing. Also, in Chimera Branded, this card is really best made with Albion just banishing all the illusions out of your graveyard, but we don't have that luxury in this particular deck. Chances are we're not going to have a Chimera King of Phantom Beast plus extra illusion monsters to use as material. So I don't really see this card coming up and I wouldn't really advise playing it. So I would rather either play another Chimera King here or just any other link monster that suits your fancy. Okay, so that rounds out the 15 card extra. Again, like I'm playing SP and Typhon, but you can play whatever you want uh, in those two slots if SP and Typhon are outside of your budget. All right, so that wraps up the deck profile. Now let's go ahead and go through a couple test hands and walk through some replays of this, of me using this deck uh, just last night. And let's go through this test hand or two and see how that goes. I'm just trying to shuffle up really well. Obviously, I just had the deck sorted for the deck profile. So uh, let's go ahead and shuffle on up. Hopefully that's good enough. Uh, now let's draw our top five. So we have a Gazelle, an Ash, a Bluebeard, a Chimera Fusion, and a second Chimera Fusion. Uh, it's a little tough, but we'll, 
we're gonna have to see what we drop for that Bluebeard. So the obvious play is to go ahead and normal summon Gazelle. And this is where having the extra uh, Chimera Fusions comes in because if we get hit with Imperium here or Valor here, we can just rip that Chimera Fusion in chain and still search the other copy. Um, you know, and make our opponent essentially waste a card. So we're gonna go ahead and search our third Chimera Fusion, unfortunate. Uh, I wonder if this was due to shuffling or not. Uh, and then we're gonna go ahead and fire one of those off and we're gonna send our Gazelle and our Bluebeard as fusion material here to summon our copy of Chimera King of Phantom Beasts. So we're gonna go ahead and set up our chain links. We're gonna go chain link one Bluebeard, discarding another Chimera Fusion to kind of draw, hope to draw into something. Uh, we're gonna go chain link two Gazelle to search and chain link three Chimera King to hand rip in the end phase. So uh, our Gazelle search is gonna be a copy of Quadl. And then we're gonna go ahead and Bluebeard draw and see what we get. And if we draw into a Plunder Field spell or a Black Eyes, we are in full business. Plunder field spell, absolutely beautiful. Okay, so next we're gonna add back one of our Chimera Fusions. Uh, here we're going to now discard our Cornfield Quadl to search a copy of Mirror Sword Knight. Uh, and we're gonna hope to discard that Mirror Sword Knight eventually for um, to set up the negate with the Chimera King. Okay, so uh, we're gonna be able to do that with the field spell. Let me place it up here because we're out of uh, frame space. Go. Uh, shipyard, discard the Mirror Sword Knight. Now we have both Illusion Monsters in Grave for Interruptions with our Chimera King. Uh, and with that, we're going to search our copy of... Uh, I think Black Eyes is the correct choice here. Now we can activate Black Eyes, uh, targeting the Bluebeard. Add that back to hand, summoning the Black Eyes. And now we can Special Summon the Bluebeard here. Um, and now we can just link off into a black beard. Okay, and that's not so bad. Um, we didn't have like tuner access, unfortunately, so we aren't able to go into the full Jord and Blackbeard combo. But this is pretty solid. We have Chimera with a hand rip, we have double illusions, we have Blackbeard for an interruption, and then we can set a copy of Chimera Fusion or two if you really want. Uh, to have Guardian Chimera plays, we have um, whatever other plays you want, maybe Magnum the Reliever if you're playing that, and so forth. So I'm going to rewind to when we drew the field spell off of Bluebeard, and this we're going to put this Black Eyes back in deck. Now, let's see, is there a better way to play this? Can we use our Chimera Fusion to go into that Birth from for something better? So we're going to go Shipyard, we're going to discard the Mirror Sword Knight, uh, and in this case, we are going to search a copy of, let's search a white beard here. Very nice. And now let's fire off our second Chimera Fusion. Fusing off the Chimera King and the white beard to go into a Burfamet. Now we want to keep this Burfamet on board because we have all the illusions set up and the illusions will still work with Burfamet as interruptions. Uh, so now we can go, uh, let's see, Whitebeard chain link one, Burfamet chain link two to dump. Uh, we'll dump a copy of Golden Hair and we will Whitebeard summon out. We're gonna summon out a copy of Black Eyes here. And the reason is that we can see forward a little bit, see that we're gonna get into Jord and we're gonna be able to add the black eyes back to hand and be able to use that if we want. So now we're gonna go golden hair, uh, discard the third copy of Chimera Fusion, unfortunate, but uh, you know, that's what we have to do. Go golden hair summon here and now we can synchro summon into a copy of Jord. There we go. We're gonna go Jord effect, place it in the uh, pendulum zone and add back the black eyes that we summoned off of the white beard uh, And then we're gonna go Jord effect summon two tokens. Let me find some uh, token worthy cards here uh, We'll summon two tokens one to our field one to our opponents We're gonna make them light attribute uh, and now we can use the black eyes here uh, summon itself and Add back the white beard to our hand. Whoops 
There we go. And now we can link off the black eyes and the token for a copy of Blackbeard. We go Blackbeard effect, target itself. And now since our opponent has a light token, we can summon Liss, equip and draw one. We draw into another shipyard. That's fine, it's a plunder name for ammo. Uh, and then we can list special summon the white beard back. So uh, because we went through all this and because we had no other discard targets besides Chimera Fusions, we don't have a follow-up Chimera Fusion to set, uh, which is unfortunate. So, um, you know, we could have discarded the Ash, but I would rather just hold the Ash. Uh, but we do have list Blackbeard plus Burfamet set up. We have um, the double illusion monster in grave with cornfield and mirror sword knight for interruptions here as well so and then we have of course the chimera king of phantom beasts uh in here to summon out a plunder name or a you know if we get our black beard cleared we can summon it back with chimera king uh if we discard our white beard later we can summon it back with uh, Chimera King. So yeah, this is going to be our end board and then on our opponent's turn as soon as our opponent does something we can Blackbeard link I mean um, Summon out something else like Moark or Liss or whatever and draw another card and that's a Fenrir Okay, so that's going to be for follow-up or for Guardian Chimera material. So yeah, this is going to be our test hand It was a little bit rough. Uh, there's a couple options you could go with honestly uh, for how you want to set that up. Would you rather have the uh, Blackbeard and Jord, or would you rather have the Chimera Fusion set for follow-up? And that's really up to you, and that kind of makes this deck a little bit fun uh, based on, you know, how much, what what types of interruptions you want to put up, how much extending do you want to do, um, and that kind of thing. Let's go ahead and do one more test hand because that was pretty enjoyable. Let's go ahead and draw five here, hopefully um, a little bit better. Okay, Golden Hair, White Beard, Gazelle, Valor Booty. All right, so that's pretty solid as well. Now let's go ahead and start with our normal play of Normal Summon Gazelle. Gazelle Effect is gonna search a copy of Chimera Fusion. Awesome, and now we can fire off that Chimera Fusion and figure out what we wanna fuse off. Do we wanna fuse off the Golden Hair or the White Beard? They're both excellent uh, fusion targets. But I think the, I'm thinking the golden hair is gonna be a little bit better because we can summon the golden hair back by discarding the white beard later. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. We're gonna summon out our copy of Chimera King of Phantom Beasts. We're gonna go Gazelle Effect to search our copy of Cornfield. And then immediately off of that, discard the Cornfield to search the Mirror Sword Knight to our hand, okay? Um, so from here, we have to figure out a way to get into plunder combo, which is not too difficult with um, the golden hair and grave and white beard in hand. Honestly, it's one of the better, uh, one of the best combinations of plunders to open up with this combo. Uh, we're going to go ahead and add back our chimera fusion as well. So from here, we're going to go golden hair effect, discard the white beard. Awesome uh, white beard effect to summon from deck. Uh, and we can either summon, I think we're going to summon Bluebeard here, just because we're going to want that discard one, draw one effect to get that Mirror Sword Knight in Grave. Uh, so now we're going to Synchro Summon here into a copy of Jord. Uh, and then on Summon, we're going to go Bluebeard effect, discard the Mirror Sword Knight. This is how we load up our Grave with the, grave with the Illusions. Uh, and then draw one, which is going to draw us into an Imperm. Another interruption is kind of nice. Now we can go Jord effect. Put it in the pendulum zone, add back that blue beard, uh, and then Jord effect again, summon out two tokens, one to our field and one to our opponent's field. Okay, uh, and those are gonna be light attribute. We're gonna put our Jord back in the extra. Now, because we have a Planet Patrol monster, which is the Planet Patrol token, we can special summon the blue beard, which we haven't used its special summon from hand effect yet, and then we can link those off into a copy of Blackbeard here. There we go, beautiful. Blackbeard effect is going to target itself. Summon out a copy of List because that token is a light and then draw one and we drew into another Valor. So now we have two Valors and Imperm as interruptions and then List can summon back the Blackbeard, okay? So now this is gonna be our final board. Uh, I am going to keep the booty in hand because uh, we do need a plunder name in hand for list to be live, and I don't want to risk 
the top deck draw off of Blackbeard not being a plunder card. So uh, yeah, we do want the list to be live here. We're gonna set the Chimera Fusion for Guardian Chimera access. Uh, and then we have, oh yeah, we're gonna have to set the Imperm as well. And then we have double Valor in hand. So uh, two Valors, Imperm, Chimera Fusion, Quaddle and Mirror Sword Knight with Listenigate with another Blackbeard interruption coming soon. And when Blackbeard draws, it's going to be a shipyard. Okay, so um, yeah, that's all pretty awesome uh, test hand. Now let's go ahead and jump into actual replays that I have with this deck uh, that I did just last night. And hopefully that will shed some insight on how to play this deck in a real match. Okay, so the first match I have is against Fire Kings. Uh, I don't know how good this guy is. He's got Magic Cylinder in there. Uh, maybe he's just playing with only the Structure Deck stuff. Was Magic Cylinder in the Structure Deck? That would make a little bit of sense, but it doesn't matter. The point is I want to show you guys how this deck is played. So um, we're going to go ahead forward. Uh, we did win the dice roll. And we're going to start with the normal summon of Gazelle. And that will get us a copy of Chimera Fusion here. Uh, which we already had one of, but that's fine. We're going to go ahead and activate the field spell. Field spell, discard one of those Chimera Fusions and search a white beard here. And that's because we want to fuse off something that will extend us into more plunder names so that we can go into the Jord Blackbeard combo a little bit better. Uh, now we're going to fire off that second Chimera Fusion using the white beard and Gazelle's material and then white beard effect. Uh, plus Gazelle effect to search our illusion stuff, plus Chimera effect to hand rip one in the end phase. Uh, and then I'm going to search the Quaddle and summon out the Golden Hair. And we want a tuner because we have the non-tuner extender in hand, which is really nice. Um, now we're going to go Cornfield, search the Mirror Sword Knight, and then Chimera Fusion add back while we still have the Chimera King of Phantom Beasts around. Uh, and then from here, we're going to go Bluebeard special summon itself. Out because we have the golden hair set up already. We're gonna go into Jord. You guys kind of just saw this in the test hand. Oh yeah, Bluebeard discard the Mirror Sword Knight. Now we have both illusions in grave, which is kind of nice. Uh, plus the uh, draw one was a black eyes, which is really nice. Uh, Jord effect, target the, um, what's it called? The white beard, put it back to hand, and then we're gonna summon out the two tokens. You know, if we didn't draw that black eyes, we'd actually be in a little bit of trouble because we wouldn't have an extender here. Um, so that's really nice here as well. Black Eyes is gonna add back the blue beard for follow-up and summon itself. And then we're gonna link off into the black beard. Black beard can target itself, summon out the list and draw one, which is another blue beard. And then list can summon out the uh, black beard. Okay, and now we're gonna set one, which is Chimera Fusion. And we have a really nice board uh, with the Nibiru in hand and so forth. Okay, now we're gonna, oh, we discard this Fire King Skyburn out of our opponent's hand. Our opponent starts with Xtrav, we let it go through, no Ash or anything, and then we he summons out, whoops, he summons out the, um, he, he activates Fire King Island, summons out this guy, this Hanuman, and then activates Call by the Grave, randomly targeting my uh, Mirror Sword Knight. And then he chains this Hanuman because Hanuman just has to respond to his Spell Trap to destroy something in his hand. Okay, so we are going to, oh no, what did he target? I don't know. But I'm going to chain the Mirror Sword Knight to stop the Hanuman from destroying something in his hand, which is really nice. Now he's kind of just burned through a whole bunch of cards. Uh, Hanuman's negated. Oh, he called buys on the Gazelle for some reason. Maybe he was hoping to... I, yeah, I don't know why he targeted that particular card, but anyways, and then our Blackbeard is going to summon out a brand because I'm ready for this Fire King Island to activate and I do want to have an interruption for that. So uh, brand is gonna come out, gonna draw me a card, which is gonna be another cornfield uh, and that's good to go. He links off into Nightmare Phoenix. Uh, Nightmare Phoenix effect is going to discard one to target and pop the field spell and I'm going to negate that with a quaddle and destroy the phoenix just to get him off uh, or have fewer cards on on board. Uh, he chains or he responds with the Garunix on res because one of his cards was destroyed and then I'm just going to negate that with Liss and destroy it. So um, there we go. All he can do now is 
set the magic cylinder and pass but in the end phase i'm going to banish whatever the face down is with bran and then i'm basically good to go here okay uh oh yeah this is still an end phase white beard can summon something out summon out the one red beard and then we're good to go so we go ahead battle phase and that's 8k damage 3k 3k and 2k and he scoops okay so on to the next replay we have one against pendulum um, which was kind of surprising. Uh, we have Gazelle, uh, let's see, Cornfield, and then we go ahead and activate the Cornfield to search Mirror Sword Knight and then Chimera Fusion, the Gazelle and the Mirror Sword Knight into a Burfamet. And that's because I see that we have the White Beard in hand and if we can get the Golden Hair Engraved, then we have full plunder combo afterwards, okay? And I'll, I'll admit here that I forgot to go into the uh, Chimera King of Phantom Beast for the hand rip in the end phase um, after I go through all the plunder stuff because I was just so excited to actually have all the plunder stuff available but anyways um, we go ahead and golden hair discard the white beard white beard summon out the blue beard here uh, and then go into Jord discard the Chimera fusion and then Jord effect um, add back the blue beard Jord summon a couple tokens Bluebeard effect to summon. Go into Whitebeard. White, I mean Blackbeard. Blackbeard summon out the list and draw one, which is an Ash. List can special summon out, and then I set two. Uh, one is Booty. One is Chimera Fusion, and pass turn. Okay, so I make the mistake here of setting Booty because I don't have any plunder names in hand, which is going to come back to bite me in the ass, uh, big time. So we have Burfamet. Um, with the two illusions engraved, we have a list but no negate effect available at the moment. Uh, and then we have Ash and Nib as well, Chimera Fusion for Guardian Chimera. So let's see how this plays out. Our opponent starts out with the Ignis and then the Majesty, and then he uses Majesty effect, and then I'm going to go ahead and Ash that. Like, I don't want him to start fueling his Pendulum plays, I want him to be locked into those scales. So uh, I think I thought that was a good place to Ash here. Skull Crabat Joker, and then I chain Blackbeard here. I should have probably used Mirror Sword Knight there, but I don't know if it mattered. Uh, we're going to bring out the Mowork. I was hoping really to draw one, uh, draw a Plunder name to be able to have as discard material, but unfortunately not. Uh, Revolution Dragon, and then we're going to go Booty here, make that thing a fire, and summon out a Whitebeard, and that's because I wanted to use Guard or Chimera Fusion using this as material. I was just going to burn through as many draws as I could to get a plunder name in hand. So I saw a, an opportunity for Guardian Chimera draw two. He summons out a whole bunch of stuff with Pendulum and I he only has one tuner. So my job is to get that off the board. Chimera Fusion into Guardian Chimera. Guardian Chimera to pop the tuner and draw two. And hopefully one of those is a plunder card. It's not, it's just more hand traps. And then he just goes into Zeus. I messed up by using Whitebeard's effect. That was a terrible idea because now I cannot nib anymore because I'm locked into plunder names. So um, that was a big misplay on my part, but he goes into like a ton of zoo cards and then he has like six material Zeus. He uses it to wipe the whole board and I'm like, okay, good. I can nib it off the board, but nope. I'm locked in the plunders, can't activate Nibiru, that was my fault. Uh, special summon the Fenrir, and he is going to burn one of his Zeus. Um, Zeus clears on that, uh, and I'm forced to pass turn on three hand traps plus Chimera Fusion. He goes for this um, Pendulum play, summons out the Ignis, and then attacks with Zeus, and draw for turn, Whitebeard. Okay, uh, add back the Chimera Fusion, and I have Golden Hair in, in Grave, so I'm able to summon one of those out. I normal summon the Whitebeard and go into Blackbeard from here, hoping that even if he chains the Zeus on the or uses Zeus on the Blackbeard summon, I can just chain that and hopefully draw draw one into something useful. So I go ahead. Summon it out, draw another damn hand trap. Okay, so whatever, I summon out the Bluebeard just for the draw one, discard one option. He has normal summon Ignis, so I have one more chance to win this game, and I finally draw into a Quaddle off of the Bluebeard. 
so he swings for 1700 more uh and then it's my turn, and I'm pretty much set to win here. Um, I activate the Quaddle, search the uh, Gazelle, and now I have, he scoops here because he knows I've won. Uh, I have full access to Guardian Chimera. I could, um, you know, pop the Zeus, draw two, uh, swing over the Ignis, and then he's top decking in a Pendulum deck, which is not great. I have double Valor Ash, whatever, and he knows he's cooked. So um, from there, we're good to go. But Lesson learned, don't set your only plunder card. Like if you need that for um, if you need that for a discard cost, don't set it. It's not worth it. Uh, and then the last replay I have is against the Silent Forcer deck, which is the new like ritual deck coming out. Uh, this is another um, game where I'm able to go full combo, Gazelle, Search, Chimera Fusion. We're gonna fuse into Chimera King of Mythical Beast. Uh, discard one in the end phase, search the Mirror Sword Knight. Uh, add back that we're gonna activate another Chimera fusion using the mirror sword knight and the Chimera King into the Burfamet. Uh And now we're gonna be able to send a plunder name to graveyard and in this case because I have the black eyes We're gonna send the bluebeard uh, Because once I add the bluebeard back I can summon it once more So uh, we're gonna go black eyes add back the blue blue special summon link off into Blackbeard and I'm set to go. I decided not to use the black, the Bluebeard effect because I wanted Impermanent Ash more than any other draw. So um, yeah, we just kept it there. Discards the Prosperity for turn. Now he goes, Normal Summon Diviner. I'm like, oh great, uh, what am I playing against Tear? Like, but Tear doesn't play Prosperity, I'm confused. So I imperm that Diviner right away. Uh, and then he goes ahead and summons the Fleur de -Lis. Um, So, yeah, uh, Fleur de Lis comes out, and then I activate Blackbeard, and this is where something weird happens. Uh, I summon out the list, and then I put the blue Blackbeard into the Imperm column, so it just falls off. Um, yeah, I that was a pain in my ass. Like, I did not see that coming or even think about that. So now I know that the Bluebeard, the Blackbeard, will fall off if you put it in the Imperm column as an equip, even though it doesn't actually, it doesn't do anything. So whatever, uh, he goes into Chaos Angel, which is a big problem for me. Um, Chaos Angel to banish, I chain the Quaddle, not realizing it's unaffected, forgot that. So yeah, he goes battle phase and basically clears my board and I'm a little bit in a rough spot. So I'm gonna bring back out the Blackbeard just for more draw power. I'm gonna try to draw into some kind of out to Chaos Angel, which is gonna be a little bit rough and you'll see how I eventually do out it. Uh, we go ahead and go field spell. I, my thought is I need to get into Bran and I need to do something summon a whole bunch of plunder stuff and get into something large enough to um you know be able to get over 3500 so i'm just trying to turbo through and get a whole bunch of plunder cards that i can equip down here uh we're gonna go guardian chimera pop one draw two get rid of that trap card and see what happens but um yeah i see that i can't really do it this turn so i'm just gonna make put as many monsters on board as i can to stall out uh and then he goes um, he has Cast Angel, uh, plus this guy, I imperm that, and that's gonna be fine. He searches some kind of ritual thing going on. I have Mowork, and now he activates this thing to Ritual Summon. Um, yeah, and this guy can be used as uh, the entire tribute for a Ritual Summon. So he activates the thing to ritual summon this guy, which is level seven. I banish the one that can be used as entire tribute. Actually, I'm not sure it would have been able to be used as entire tribute because it was impermed anyway. So he, I, I don't think, I think he would have had to do this anyway, but because I got rid of that, he was forced to uh, proceed with the ritual summon and use the chaos angel as material. So he brings out this dude, which like searches something and it's not really that good. Uh, he goes battle, swings over the golden hair, that's fine. And then just scoops there because he's cooked. Um, I do have a lot of follow-up. I have big guardian chimera just swings over. I have all this kind of stuff going on. Uh, yeah, so we got lucky on that one because he outed his own chaos angel. I don't know if I would have been able to out it in enough time, but yeah. So those were three replays of the plunder chimera deck. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Leave a like. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying this kind of content or if you want to see some kind of ideas leave comments in the 
section below. And with that, we'll catch you guys in the next one. We'll see you later.